Um, this morning, we had a very, very important uh, meeting, which was the culmination of a number of previous meetings that were held uh, towards preparing for the El Nino phenomena. And uh, our meeting this morning basically was to zero down on really um, what we have readily on hand in terms of preparation. And I think uh, um, it's, it's fair to say that we are somewhere. Of course, there's always room for improvement. But today's um, meeting, plus where we are right now, this center which we have just launched now, plus the stores that uh, our colleagues, our partners, Red Cross have shown us, is all indication of the fact that there is a county uh, will not be left behind. Tuta Kubali Kuachwa Nyuma in terms of preparedness. So I'm happy that um, I, we, you know, we, are, we are all now fully conscious of this uh, major threat. We are conscious to the extent that we have had meetings, several of them, and we are today here uh, identifying and touching and pinpointing on the actual interventions that are required. Um, this morning, when we were discussing, we heard how each department of the county government, for instance, is uh, doing something. Kwa mfano watu wa health walisema kwamba they have already supplied the medicine to all the county hospitals and dispensaries. Medicine and drugs that will be enough for three months. That is a very good indication of a department that is fully conscious of this threat. Kedalika urban development they have been working with Kenha to clear and to desilt the waterways, the storm, um, you know, storm waterways in the town. In fact, to Kitoka Hapa, we may also pass one or two of those places just for us to witness that something has been happening. Agriculture Department, they have already been carrying out serious community sensitization, kuambia, wakulima kwamba, they should move. They should be ready to move with their engines and their pumps from the river once the indications start. And therefore, they are continuously with the farmers and talking to them. That's a very good indication. Watu wa wafugaji, the pastoralists, or rather the people of the livestock, wamesema kwamba, they have been talking to their farmers, to the, to the pastoralists, to the livestock owners, um, in terms of uh, how also they should be prepared, how they should move from the river, if they are along the river, and also that they are now prepared to start a campaign of, uh, uh, you know, a vaccination campaign to uh, treat the animals from diseases such as Rift Valley fever which is one of those diseases that are feared will be accompanying this uh, 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 scenario. Kadalika, all the other NGOs, I, I, uh, Womankind, which is a very, very key stakeholder in this county, they have said that they are also prepared with a good amount of money to buy food. Watu uh, Red Cross, of course, you can see we are already in their camp here, and we have seen how, uh, in their own style, Red Cross is, of course, used to these things, and they are already, um, you know, um, uh, as you can see, they are already uh, having um, a, a big step forward in terms of being prepared. 
Um, so I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy that our county uh, will not be left behind. Uh, particularly because also tumeambiwa na watu wakutabiri hewa kwamba Garissa will be affected or Garissa will be among the places which is feared will be affected most. Now with that kind of warning ikiwa ya begin such kind of warning you don't wait. You don't just sit and uh, assume that things will be normal. You have already been warned. So it is uh, very, very important, indeed imperative, that we take such warnings very serious. Na kwaeva to Jipange kama county, and we are doing that. Uh, we will continue with these steps on daily basis through um, different committees that have been formed. Kama hii committee ambayo leo imeundwa, kamati ya Disaster Response Coordination Committee, which is chaired by the county commissioner, and of course supported by other uh, stakeholders, Red Cross, the county government, and others. We've even discussed, as was said by the county commissioner, uh, our issues of response even with the KDF. How can they chip in in the event of something major happening? So I, I'm happy that the, 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 the ball has started rolling very seriously uh, in terms of us being ready and prepared as a county. And I'm also um, uh, impressed that the stakeholders are not taking it lightly and that they are re indeed moving on the right track. My only fear is our people sometimes, we don't take warnings seriously. We, we take it very lightly and assume that, uh, uh, you know, kama jana ama juzi, muze moja menambia kwa kiluga, wahansomar derbi ya badan. I don't know what derbi ya badan means. Derbi ya badan, I think, means it was uh, uh, heavy rains. And according to him, it is, uh, it will just come and pass. I don't want those kind of assumptions. So really, each of us here comes from a home, has neighbors, has formerly, uh, as a county government, as I said, um, we have so far identified uh, the initial critical areas of intervention. We are, we are putting together a budget of up to 50 million shillings. Somebody wants me to disclose that as the initial reaction. That budget, of course, is expected to grow. Uh, depending on, uh, on uh, really, the intensity of the problem. But uh, that is uh, our initial um, uh, reaction figure that we have put in place. Um, also, um, uh, this center now has a number uh, of six or so telephone numbers for emergency. Please use these numbers, take them, and call them. You can even call now, because the people who are, whose numbers are written there are all here. And if they don't pick them, please call mine. Because <laughs> they cannot be putting all their numbers there. Yeah, among those ones. You know, there's, uh, I mean, I, I know each of those numbers. If they don't pick, even now, try them even now. But uh, I'm told by the county commissioner, that this is the most important one, 0704-722262. It's also there. Am I right? Which one is this? For Red Cross. For the desk. Okay, yeah. The, for the, a desk. Yes. With this number, at least for three months, while also those ones they start picking on the negative side when we are all here. So, of course... Um, um, that's why we are putting our minds together. We'll talk to the chiefs, but everybody has a responsibility and a role. That is what I want to say. Killa moja wetu lazima afanya bidi on his or her side to ensure that we sensitize our people and warn them and inform them and plead with them to move out from the low-lying areas of the county to the uh, higher grounds. Uh, I hope the committee also will now move very fast to identify the higher grounds that we have said 
we need to get them for, uh, for the people to be moved on. So in a nutshell, uh, without going into much details, because I, I think we have, we have been talking since the morning, um, I'm happy that we are as lead, as, at least as a county, a county formed by all the stakeholders, the national government, county government, the other, other NGOs, donor institutions, we are now all together. We are not leaving anything to chance, and we hope that um, you know we will we will be ready um, 